Hi, my name is Doug Lee. I'm in the 12th grade at the Rockdale Magnet School, and this is my Laws of Life essay. Dinh Giang was a beautiful province in Vietnam. I can still remember the ever-flowing rivers, the busy street markets, and the ornate Buddhist temples that peppered the area. I spent much of my childhood there. I lived in a rural, tight-knit community and developed everlasting memories with friends who I thought I would spend the rest of my life with. To this day, I continue to reminisce upon the times we played traditional Vietnamese games when there were power outages, the times we held large celebratory feasts with a glazed succulent pig that sat in the middle, and the times we held lantern festivals to celebrate the new year as people paraded the streets at night with elaborately decorated lanterns. This was genuinely one of the best times of my life, which is why I couldn't understand at the time why my parents would tear down the life that I once knew and start anew in a strange foreign land. I still remember the day when I had to leave behind everything that I have ever known. The house that I've known for all my life was stripped of all its life and was reduced to a hollowed husk that sat abandoned on the street I used to happily frolic along. As I reflect upon this moment, I vividly remember the phone call that I received from my grandmother who lived in the U.S. at the time as my family packed up all of our things. Don't worry, she said. Don't be scared. You'll love it here. I remember thinking to myself, how could you possibly say that? I'm leaving behind all of my friends, my school, my community, and my culture. I don't want to leave. I can't. Still, I put on a brave face as the fear, anxiety, and despair tried to claw their way through this superficial front. The first few years I spent in the U.S. were probably some of the hardest I've ever faced. I had to adapt to a whole new way of life and culture, and even learn a new language. I was behind in my grade level and was forced to spend another year in the same grade so I could get a grasp on the English language. I experienced culture shock and was, was isolated from the people around me. I felt like an outsider and I lost this, the sense of community that I felt back in Vietnam. I desperately wanted to go back, but I knew that wasn't an option. It would have been easy for me to give up back then, doing the absolute minimum and hoping I could coast through life itself. However, that wasn't the life that I wanted for myself. I wanted more. So I fought to find my place here in the U.S. Slowly but surely, I began to adapt. My cousins helped guide me through life here in the U.S. They taught me everything that I knew, and we formed an inseparable bond that ties us together not only as family, but as best friends. After a year of practice, I finally became proficient in English and began to connect with my peers as in school. At home, my family and I continued to uphold our culture and traditions, never letting ourselves forget our roots back home in Ding Yang. Now, as I reflect upon my past experiences as a senior in high school, I can clearly see the positive impacts my parents' decision to immigrate to the U.S. had on my life. Though my life would have been good if I had stayed, I would have never had the incredible opportunities that I've, that I've been given and achieve what was originally thought to be impossible in the small Vietnamese neighborhood where I grew up in. I would have never grown to be a nationally distinguished student leader or had such an advanced education. Eerily, sometimes, I even wonder, would my battle with cancer have taken a different turn had I stayed? Emigrating to the U.S. opened a door to a whole new world of possibilities. And it taught me a motto that I continue to live by. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. I'd just like to thank my family and friends for always being there for me. Thank you to Miss Amy McCree for always pushing me to do my best and giving me this opportunity. And thank you to Maxwell, Angel, Helena, Ryan, Grace, Elizabeth, Allison, Bella, Alan, Brian, Henry, and Nick for always supporting me and brightening my day.